Yup, y'all can't have no long-term gains without no discipline. Post chain bridge beyond. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lit, the mastermind. Welcome back to another episode of My Life is Awesome. Now, today, what I want to talk to you guys about is a quick update. I am digging deep into this pulse chain hex game. Y'all know what's up. Your boy is deep ocean floor level bring your diving gear when you tune into this channel because we're breaking down this game theory we are laying down the law of how this pulse chain was put together and we're cracking the code i'm telling y'all it's like we got lock picks and we're thieves in the night trying to find out what happened before launch day so before that sun rises me and you are gonna get this money we're gonna get into the launch now, break it down with me, y'all. My boy Jennings hit me up, and he asked me a question that got my gears turning. And I have been tripping over this concept because I've laid the foundation for this concept. Let me break it down. My boy told me, yo, what if Richard's heart ego wants to reward those who've sacrificed and he is using that as price discovery. Oh my God. Boom. Knowledge nuke. My boy just knowledge nuked me on the channel. And I have no ego about it. I'm going to shout him out. You guys hit me up with good info. I'm going to shout you out too. Why? Because we're in this together. I don't need your credit. I don't need to claim credit for your badass ideas. That was my boy Jennings. You can go find the comment in the last video. Now. Let me break this down for y'all. Imagine Richard Hart kicking it in his lab with his spinning watches behind him, rolling through this game, and him thinking, do I want to reward everyone who wants cheap pulse? Do you think he wants to reward everyone who wants to get his product hella cheap, aping in? I don't know. Maybe. However, what if he wants to reward the OGs. What if he's like, all right, you made a political statement, you believe in Pulse, you wanna put your money in, even at a higher multiplier where you get less, I'm sorry, a lower multiplier where you get less, it's a higher rate increase. So, do you think Richard Hart is going to reward those who sacrifice? That's the question. Now, the next question becomes, do you think the way that they've masterminded this whole game theory of the pulse chain hex game is simple like this? What if the whole sacrifice set was created as a mechanism of price discovery? What if they put it out there and they said, show your political belief that you believe in a DeFi blockchain and you want to share your voice and airdrop and sacrifice? your hard earned crypto and money for something of no value to my project, because that's what the whole sacrifice was. It was a big political statement where you're giving something for nothing to believe in it. You cannot place expect value from the work of others. So that's the whole name of this pulse chain sacrifice. My question becomes, did they do all of this to reward the OGs? and create a mechanism of price discovery where we don't have to start at all these zeros. That's gonna last 2.2 seconds, and then it's gonna start raising up. And the question becomes in the last video, are they gonna trickle sell it with the De Beer model, forcing high supply to look like low supply, and that low supply having high demand skyrocket? I think that's what's gonna happen. 99% of the comments, if not 100% of the comments, agree with me that that's exactly what's going to happen. So we're going to take this a step further. And that step further is, was the sacrifice set simply a game theory of finding price discovery? What does that mean, y'all? That means when they're sitting back in their hazy little smoke-filled room, collabing with their boys to crush the crypto game 
they wanted to know where do we launch Pulse at? Once all the zeros happen, where does it go from there? My question is, was the whole name of the game to sacrifice and start seeing how much people are willing to pay? When I look at Pulse right now, currently we are just under 350 Pulse points per dollar. And some of my boys hit me up in the comments and they told me, yo, lit, it's one point for one coin. That would be so badass, y'all. I really hope that's true. Send me a clip of Richard Hart saying that. If you know that for sure, I want to see it with my own eyes. Now, assuming that that's true, it's one point for one coin. Imagine if they simply sat back and said, all right, we're going to reward those who believe in this project. We're going to reward those who have our back. If you have Richard Hart 6, do you think he's going to reward you? And not only that, do you think it's a good idea to wait on a Richard Hart project? When Richard Hart projects are crashing and crushing through the jungle, making all kinds of noise, kicking all kinds of dust up, making tons of rich dudes behind them, do you think that fam is going to be hesitant? Do you think it's a good idea to wait? Or do you think it's a good idea to go, dude, what's all this ruckus? I want to get in on that party. That looks like it's fun. That's where the fun's at. I'm going to go where the fun's at. Let me jump in on this game. I think that's what's happening, y'all. I think the price discovery is actually hidden in the sacrifice. Because if you see the way that this whole sacrifice went, first it's a 2.5x multiplier, then it starts going down. Then by the end, it's a 1.75x multiplier. And you could get anywhere from like so many coins up here in the first few days if you ape in all the way down to less. And what they do? They just started bringing it lower and lower and lower. What does that mean? That means Richard Hart has a clear cut chart with mathematical points he can put on a chart. Y'all check out Gerardo's channel. That dude is the chart master. If any of you don't know who Gerardo is, go check him out. Dude is a savage. He's a mathematical genius and he has these charts on lock. Big shout out to Gerardo. Now, check those charts out that he has and imagine you're kicking it with Richard Hart watching these charts and you are literally understanding there's what people are willing to pay for Pulse. Oh, look, it's lower. You get less Pulse per dollar. Up, oh, they're still buying it. Up, oh, they're still sacrificing it. There's 500 Pulse per dollar. Couple days later, 400 Pulse per dollar. They're still buying it. Now we're looking at just under 350 Pulse per dollar. They're going to realize people are still sacrificing. They're still buying it. So my question is, isn't that the mechanism they're going to use for launch? Why wouldn't they? They already know people are willing to pay it. And do you think Richard Hart is going to allow all of these people to ape in on launch day when his boys have been sacrificing, having his back, showing him we're with you. We're making our political statement to jump in. Now, the next question becomes, how are you going to swap anything without Pulse on day one? You want to get in the game? How are you going to move your PHEX for Pulse with no gas? Imagine this network is not set up on dollars. It's set up on Pulse. It's just like ETH. You have to buy ETH gas to move it. You have to buy ETH to get the gas. You have to buy ETH to pay the transaction fee. So it's set up based off the native coin. That native coin for this fork of the Ethereum network on the Pulse chain network is Pulse. So I ask again, how are you going to be able to move anything without Pulse? So those of you on launch day who want to put USDC currency, from everything I've heard, that's not going to happen. You're not going to just be able to put dollars in and buy HEX or buy Pulse or buy PHEX. You're not going to be able to do it. You're going to have to swap. So the name in this game becomes, do you have your Pulse sacrifice so you have your Pulse on day one to even move anything? Do you guys get what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to move anything unless you have made the political statement and at least sacrificed a little. So I pose this question to you. Was the price discovery based off the sacrifice set? Second of all, is that the move? Is that the move, y'all? 
did they think this out and say, all right, we're going to reward those who've sacrificed, whether it's a lot or a little, we're going to reward them because they're making statements that they have our back. I get that. Do you guys get that? If you got a bunch of boys at a party and there's a hot chick over there and you want to hook up with her and you tell your boys, yo, she's been eyeing me. I'm going to go talk to her, dude. How many of you have those snake ass boys that'll be like, oh, you like that chick? Damn, she's looking fire. And they will go snake out over there and try to pull before you. They'll start talking shit about you right to her face being like, yo, my boy, my boy Hella likes you. He'll put you on blast. He'll make you look like an amateur. I telling you, y'all know what I'm talking about. Those snake ass boys who smile in your face. Then they see that chicken you like and they go talk chatty Kathy bullshit about you and sometimes they know you so they can hella get under your skin with this chicken and blow your spot up and they can pull i've seen it happen y'all tell me if you tell me you know what's up tell me you've seen that happen so do you think they're going to reward that kind of behavior where everyone's snaking around trying to get this cheap ass pulse on launch day or do you think they're going to reward the loyal boys who've had their back where they tell them, yo, here's where we're going, here's what I want, here's where we wanna get. And those dudes are like, all right, got your six, let's do this. And they get in line and they form like Voltron and they have each other's backs. Guess what? I think that's what's gonna happen. So let me know in the comments below, do you think it is insane not to sacrifice at least a little, at least a hundred bucks so you have some gas? Couple hundred bucks, throw that thing in the sacrifice, for 350 pulse coins per point. Think of that, 350 pulse points per dollar, sorry. Think of that, is it stupid not to just sacrifice a little and get in? Because I think personally, I'm starting to really think that Richard Hart wants to reward the people who believe in this whole project and that the sacrifice set is the mechanism of price discovery because they're gonna know exactly what people are willing to pay. Now, if I'm right, all right, if I'm right, anyone who's sacrificed, the sooner, the better, anyone who's sacrificed, you're looking at insane gains. You're going to have a moon run because it's going to start at zeros and it's going to pop up so quick to match parity with the sacrifice set figures. Now, check this out. Gerardo's charts are out of control. I told y'all you got to check this dude out. His charts show the price of Pulse exponentially rising. And by the beginning of the year, we're going to have insanely high priced Pulse. I'm telling you, you guys got to look into this research. It's getting out of control. 100% I think that's what's going to happen. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. Neither are any of these other dudes. We're all just dudes trying to put this hex game pulse chain together. That's it, y'all. Let me know what you think. I want to hear in the comments below where you're at. Now, I'm going to be having way more fire content coming. And let me tell y'all something. Your boy right here is sitting here alone in the lab generating for this channel. However, when I'm in a conversation with people, I don't take up all the space. That's not my style. I'm doing that right now because it's just me and you on this camera. There's no one else here. However, if I have other boys on a chat, I have two ears and one mouth. I like to listen. I like to take in what they say. I like to respect where they're coming from. And I like to learn. You can't learn if you're doing all the talking. Lesson up, y'all. Two ears, one mouth. You cannot do all of this deep, savage level game theory if all you do is our chatty cathying all around you can't do that so i want to let y'all know i'm down to collab with some homies and i'm a great listener and i'm here for y'all you guys be here for me we're going to get this money that's it y'all let's get that never work again money you want to be crypto rich i want to be crypto rich you know what i'm talking about no beating around the bush uh my life is awesome fam so much love coming at you i see you in the comments i see you breaking through this youtube beatdown i see my subscribers going up and i want more your boy doesn't have socials i need you to post this on your socials and get this word out 
we are still early. These projects are still in their infancy. Pulse Chain hasn't even launched. Are you kidding me? You're still so early to the party. Don't miss this train to insane gains. I'm telling you, don't miss it. Don't worry. If you miss a sacrifice, stop worrying. Just put some money in there. Even if it's a hundred bucks, just sacrifice a hundred bucks and get your Pulse Coin so you have gas to swap on launch day. If you don't have your Pulse right away, you're not gonna have gas. You need gas to swap. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong if I'm wrong. I want to know from the OGs if I'm wrong, tell me straight up. All right, y'all. That's it. So much love. We'll talk to you guys soon. Ah, oh, Pulse Chain Army. Let's do this. Peace. Hey, bro. Are you serious about telling all these noobs to put money into the sacrifice still, bro? Man. That's pretty risky. No, he only said put $100 or just a little bit in. Plus, all the hex I'm stacking is going to have to have pulse for gas if I want to swap. So he's right. We need to buy at least a little bit of pulse and support the sacrifice set. Yeah, dude, my boy lights the fire. He's totally right. You're going to have to have pulse gas to move anything on launch day. And if you just have some patience, you're literally paying 0, 0.00 cents. It's not even one cent yet, so it's okay to sacrifice a little bit for zero, zero, zero cent pulse if you haven't yet. Yeah, dude, how are you going to swap anything on launch day without any pulse for gas? You see that up on the horizon, girl? That's the pulse chain promised land. We just got to keep going. We're almost there. <laughs>
on Pulse Train Bridge, BMR!